Hi, this is Ishmael. After the beep, leave me a message about a book you love. I transcribe and share at least one voicemail every day. Hi, Ishmael. This is about a year ago. I had my first kid, a daughter. And after a few months, started reading her stories and realized that there's no more important book to be good than a kid's book because you read them every day, five times a day for months on end. And I quickly realized that my favorite book was this one called Pajama Time by Sandra Boynton. It's all about kids going to bed and putting on their pajamas, real little animals, I think. But I quickly got into the rhythm of reading it. You know, it's kind of like there's a song to it, and it goes like, uh, uh, uh. Everybody's wearing them for dancing tonight. And it just got in my head. I'd be driving and singing Pajama Time, walking down the street and thinking about Pajama Time. And I would come home. My daughter would point to the bookshelf or barely even at that point. And I would say, Pajama Time? My wife's like, enough of the Pajama Time. No, 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 Pajama Time. We took it on vacation to Florida. And over the course of the week, it was just like, Every night, pajama time, pajama time, pajama time, pajama time, pajama time. All through the day, pajama time. Every time she's going to nap, pajama time. Until all of us, even the kid, just had to take a break. Like she would swat it out of my hands. And I still have a sauce for it. For it. I, I try to read it to her every Saturday night. But that's the thing with these. You know, you, you'll you never consume books with the rate that you do with kids' books. And the best ones will at least hold your attention for a month or two. So, pajama time. It's always.